The very last step of your winter um, landscape painting is to add some snowfall throughout the background. Um, so to do that, I've given you brushes that you'll notice um, I put a piece of tape on the brush end. We're going to be using the opposite end of the brush to be able to do the snowfall. And I've got little cups of white temper paint that you're just going to put that end of your brush straight down into the cup. And you're just going to hold that straight down and up to be able to create random snowfall that we don't want to put the snow in like columns and rows and perfect straight lines and edges. You want it to look like, like a regular snowfall would be where they're perfectly round snowflakes by lifting straight up and down. And that little part that I goofed up on, I'm gonna purposely place a couple snowdrops there so it kind of disguises that that black goof up happened. So I'm just going to randomly in the sky add some snowfall and since the snowfall is not only happening in the sky you're going to randomly place some snow covering your trees as it's falling down too. So you can make it snowing a lot or as little as you want as long as your snowfall doesn't look like it's perfect columns and rows. And don't be afraid to add your snowfall onto your ground too because remember we have some really light value of purple so it'll be subtle but the snowfall will still show in those areas. So once you've added your snowfall you're going to carry your painting over to the drying rack and you are officially done and ready to grade yourself on the rubric. And then next class, you'll be turning it in to be graded. So good luck.